All right, guys, again, this is Hector with Redbird. And right now we have, this is the second part of our video. We've actually installed one of the cameras in our network here via the PoE, again, power over ethernet. Um, as you can see here, this is a live view of the front of our building and what we're looking at from our window. As you can see, this is a 4K quality stream that you're seeing now. Obviously, to see how clear it is, you can see the cars, you can see the movement. All this is real time right now. If you notice on the upper left hand corner, you do have a mainstream and a substream. The mainstream will use a little bit more data because it is 4K. Um, this mainstream will also be sent to your Lorex app on your phone. So be mindful of that if you do set the settings to mainstream that it will use a little bit more data because it's processing and sending you 4K information. Now, if we do a substream, you're gonna notice on the screen here that the quality kind of degrades a little bit. It almost goes down, um, just down to like maybe 720, maybe a little bit lower. But the reason for that is that it'll still send you video, but it's gonna use less um, data on your phone or on your network, whatever it may be, however you got it connected, it'll use less of it. Um, but for this video, we're gonna keep it on mainstream just so you can keep seeing the clarity of the video and how nice everything looks. Now we do have some blackness in our little right hand corner here and on the left. That little blackness there is because we have the cameras not mounted and it's actually sitting on our windowsill here in the office, which is why you see the little black spots there. Now up here on your top hand right, you got the live view. You also have a playback function, which is normally where you would go when you're connected to the NVR. This is where you go to search for your videos. You would pick um, the date and you know whatever date it is, it could be today, yesterday, and do a search and it'll find that particular video for that day and then you can kind of scroll through on the video um, what you're exactly looking for on that day. Um, we do have a settings tab here under the settings. Um, you can change the date and time of the camera. You can change the password of the camera. Um, we'll go into here on the left side where it says settings. Um, it'll show you a little screen with the actual video playing or the continuous video right now. Um, you will also, under the settings here, you have different settings for your picture, exposure, backlight, white balance, day and night, and your IR light. Those settings, if you know how to adjust them, great. If you don't, most technicians will either leave them at default or adjust them enough to make sure everything is working, looks nice, and that the customer's happy. So again, on the left side, you have your network settings. You got different settings here that you can change for internet. Under TCP IP, it shows you the MAC address of the device. You got your network information here. Um, but again, most of these settings will not be touched by the customer unless you're familiar with it. Um, usually the technician will take care of all this for the customer, make sure everything is functional. So we'll go ahead and go back to the live. Um, just to do a little test with the camera, um, we asked uh, Redbird owner Santos to go out and you'll see him here. I'm kind of moving the mouse over the blue car here. He's sitting in the car and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I zoom into the car so you can see the quality and you can see him up close as he's getting out of the car. So we're gonna go ahead and click here and we're gonna do a little zoom, which by the way, this is a digital zoom. And there he is walking out of the car right now. You can see him pretty clearly, he's fixing his glasses. You know, he's putting his phone in his back pocket. He's got a little box that he's bringing in here. And as he's crossing the street, we can zoom back out and you can see them there just coming into the building. So again, this is a perfect system for someone looking for something 4K, um, really price nice right now. I know Lorex is running a special, they're right around 450, 475, um, but this is a great system. Another thing I wanna point out is if you look at the camera angle we were talking about in the earlier video, it's a 105 degree view which means you get a wider angle. So even though I got the camera right now pointing straight, you'll notice that to the right, I can see a whole bunch over here and on the left too. So it gives you a nice field of view to be able to see a lot of things. So when you picture it in your house, like your backyard, you'll be able to capture your whole backyard without any problem and see everything nice and clear. 
again, if you are, have any questions or are interesting, you know, interested in checking out this system or want more information, give Redbird a call at 262-475-2615.